Yes, a Hellfire missile can destroy an Abrams tank, but it is not guaranteed. The Hellfire is a fire-and-forget missile, which means that it does not require the operator to keep the target in sight after it has been launched. This makes it a very effective weapon against tanks, as it can be fired from a safe distance and still hit its target. However, the Abrams tank is very well armored, and it is possible for a Hellfire missile to miss or fail to penetrate the armor. In addition, the Abrams tank is equipped with a variety of defensive systems, such as reactive armor and smoke launchers, which can help to protect it from missiles. There have been a few cases where Hellfire missiles have destroyed Abrams tanks. In one case, a Hellfire missile fired from an A-64 Apache helicopter destroyed an Abrams tank in Iraq in 1991. However, these cases are relatively rare, and the Abrams tank is generally considered to be very resistant to enemy fire. Overall, it is possible for a Hellfire missile to destroy an Abrams tank, but it is not guaranteed. The Abrams tank is very well armored and has a variety of defensive systems, which make it difficult to destroy. The Hellfire missile is a highly capable and widely used air-to-ground missile primarily designed for precision strikes against armored targets. It is typically employed by helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. On the other hand, the Abrams tank is a heavily armored and advanced main battle tank used by the United States military and several other countries. It features composite and reactive armor, as well as other defensive measures, which provide substantial protection against various threats. While a Hellfire missile is a potent weapon, it is generally not designed to engage and destroy heavily armored tanks like the Abrams directly. The Abrams tank's armor is specifically designed to withstand and mitigate the effects of anti-tank missiles and other types of ammunition. However, it's worth noting that the Hellfire missile can still pose a threat to an Abrams tank under certain circumstances. For example, if the missile strikes a vulnerable spot on the tank, such as an unarmored area or a weaker point in the armor, it could potentially cause damage or disable the vehicle. Additionally, if the missile is equipped with a tandem warhead or another armor-piercing variant, it may have a better chance of penetrating the tank's defenses. In real-world combat scenarios, the effectiveness of a Hellfire missile against an Abrams tank would depend on various factors, including the specific variant of the missile, the angle of attack, the distance from the target and the tank's defensive measures. It is important to remember that modern armored vehicles like the Abrams are designed to withstand a range of threats and incorporate advanced protection systems to maximize their survivability on the battlefield. <laughs>